Let us now pray the Oratio Imperata for protection against COVID-19. Please all kneel. Merciful and compassionate Father, we come to you in our need to seek your protection against the COVID-19 that has disturbed and claimed many lives. We ask you now to look upon us with love and by your healing hand, Dispel the fear of sickness and death, restore our hope, and strengthen our faith. We pray that you guide the people tasked to find cures for this disease and to stem its transmission. We thank you for the vaccines developed made possible by your guiding hands. Bless our efforts to use these vaccines to end the pandemic in our country. We pray for our health workers that they may minister to the sick with competence and compassion. Grant them health in mind and body, strength in their commitment, protection from the disease. We pray for those afflicted. May they be restored to health. Protect those who care for them. Grant eternal rest to those who have died. Give us the grace in these trying times to work for the good of all and to help those in need. May our concern and compassion for each other see us through this crisis and lead us to conversion and holiness. Grant all this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. We fly to your protection, O Holy Mother of God. Do not despise our petition in our necessities, but deliver us always from all dangers, O glorious and blessed Virgin. Amen. Amen. Our Lady, Health of the Sick, Pray for us. Saint Joseph, Pray for us. Saint Raphael the Archangel, Pray for us. San Roque, pray for us. San Lorenzo Ruiz, pray for us. San Pedro Calungsod, pray for us. Good morning, brothers and sisters. Please stand as we begin our Eucharistic celebration. We are gathered together in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Brethren, let us acknowledge our sins, and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. O God, by whose gift St. Francis was conformed to Christ in poverty and humility, grant that by walking in Francis's footsteps, we may follow your Son and, through joyful charity, come to be united with you. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the beginning of the book of the prophet Jonah. This is the word of the Lord that came to Jonah, son of Amittai. Set out for the great city of Nineveh and preach against it. 
their wickedness has come up before me. But Jonah made ready to flee to Tarshish, away from the Lord. He went down to Joppa, found the sheep going to Tarshish, paid the fare, and went aboard to journey with them to Tarshish, away from the Lord. The Lord, however, hurled a violent wind upon the sea, and in the furious tempest that arose, the sheep was on the point of breaking up. Then the mariners became frightened, and each one cried to his God. To lighten the sheep for themselves, they threw its cargo into the sea. Meanwhile, Jonah had gone down into the hold of the sheep and lay there fast asleep. The captain came to him and said, What are you doing asleep? Rise up, call upon your God. Perhaps God will be mindful of us so that we may not perish. Then they said to one another, Come, let us cast lots to find out on whose account we have met with this misfortune. So they cast lots and thus singled out Jonah. Tell us, they said, what is your business? Where do you come from? What is your country? And to what people do you belong? Jonah answered them, I am a Hebrew. I worship the Lord, the God of heaven, who made the sea and the dry land. Now the men were seized with great fear and said to him, How could you do such a thing? They knew that he was fleeing from the Lord because he had told them. They asked, What shall we do with you that the sea may quiet down for us? For the sea was growing more and more turbulent. Jonah said to them, Pick me up and throw me into the sea that it may quiet down for you, since I know it is because of me that this violent storm has come upon you. Still the men rode hard to regain the land, but they could not, for the sea grew ever more turbulent. Then they cried to the Lord, We beseech you, O Lord, let us not perish for taking this man's life. Do not charge us with shedding innocent blood, for you, Lord, have done as you so feet. Then they took Jonah and threw him into the sea, and the seas raging abated. Struck with great fear of the Lord, the men offered sacrifice and made vows to him. But the Lord sent a large fish that swallowed Jonah, and Jonah remained in the belly of the fish three days and three nights. From the belly of the fish, Jonah prayed to the Lord his God. Then the Lord commanded the fish to spew Jonah upon the shore. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. You will rescue my life from the pit, O Lord. You will rescue my life from the pit, O Lord. Out of my distress, I called to the Lord, and he answered me. From the meads of the netherworld, I cried for help, and you heard my voice. You will rescue my life from the pit, O Lord. For you cast me into the deep, into the heart of the sea, and the flood enveloped me. All your breakers and your billows pass over me. You will rescue my life from the pit, O Lord. Then I said, I am banished from your sight, yet would I again look upon your holy temple. You will rescue my life from the pit, O Lord. When my soul fainted within me, I remember the Lord. My prayer reached you in your temple. You will rescue my life from the pit, O Lord. Please stand. Your teaching is tied to my eyes. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. 
The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A proclamation from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. There was a scholar of the law who stood up to test Jesus and said, Teacher, what must I do to inherit eternal life? Jesus said to him, What is written in the law? How do you read it? He said in reply, You shall love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your being, with all your strength, and with all your mind, and your neighbor as yourself. He replied to him, You have answered correctly. Do this, and you will live. But because he wished to justify himself, he said to Jesus, And who is my neighbor? Jesus replied, a man fell victim to robbers as he went down from Jerusalem to Jericho. They stripped and beat him and went off leaving him half dead. A priest happened to be going down that road, but when he saw him, he passed on on the opposite side. Likewise, a Levite came to the place, and when he saw him, he passed on by the opposite side. But the Samaritan traveler who came upon him was moved with compassion at the sight. He approached the victim, poured oil and wine over his wounds, and bandaged him. Then he lifted him up on his own animal, took him to an inn, and cared for him. The next day, he took out two silver coins and gave them to the innkeeper with the instruction Take care of him. If you spend more than what I have given you, I shall repay you on my way back. Which of these three, in your opinion, was neighbor to the robber's victim? He an they answered, The one who treated him with mercy. Jesus said to him, Go and do likewise. My dear brothers and sisters, the good news of our salvation. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. Maganda umaga po sa atin lahat. When we visit homes, when we visit our friends in their homes, one of the features, especially for a Filipino family, is we see in their sala, altars. No? May mga altar tayo sa ating mga bahay. At sa mga altar natin na ito, no? tinatampok natin ang iba't ibang imahin ng ating dinadasalan. At bilang Pilipino, madalas na nakikita natin sa altar dito, imahin ng ating mahal na ina, and more or less, no? imahin din ng Holy Child, no? Santo Nino. At sa mga imahin ng Santo Nino, no? to our um, perhaps fascination of this image, no? little child, madalas din natin naobserbahan na may iba't ibang damit si Santo Nino. Minsan, makakakita tayo ng imahin na Santo Nino na nakadamit ng doktor. Siguro dahil ang may-ari ng bahay ay doktor. Minsan din, makakita tayo ng imahin ni Santo Nino na nakadamit pang pulis. No? Pulis. Imahin ni Santo Nino na nakadamit nurse, perhaps because ang trabaho ng may-ari ng Santo Nino ay isang nurse. No? It's really somehow... Um, a reflection of how a person who has faith in God relates also to an image of the God he is, or he or she is, portraying. No? At hindi rin ito somehow nalalayo, my dear brothers and sisters, when we go to the image of the original Santo Nino in Cebu, wherein we find an image of the Santo Nino who is a king, no? Aking kung saan meron siyang orb, 
meron siyang crown, meron siyang kapa. Checking on it, no? Actually, the image of the Santo Nino in Cebu is an image of the King of Spain, Philip the Second. So kahit noon pa man pala, no? how a person relates to his God is how he or she manifests his daily no? daily craft, no? daily profession. We put on the image of God, an image of God of how we can easily identify ourselves with no? the deity. No? Para bagang binibigyan natin ng damit, yung santo ni yung image ng Diyos sa paraan na minsan gusto lang natin o type lang natin. No? Parang bata no? na Paano ba natin, paano ba natututo ang bata sa kung ano ang kanyang ginagaya? Ang mga bata, especially mga liliit, no? ginagaya-gaya nila ang kanilang nanay at tatay, hindi ba? Pero in relation to God, parang baliktad, no? Yung Diyos yung gumagaya sa atin. Kung ano ang damit natin, binibigay natin sa Diyos. Kung ano ang imahe natin ng concept nung pang-araw-araw natin na identity, binibigay natin, nire-relate natin sa Diyos. Why am I telling you this, my dear brothers and sisters? In our gospel reading today, we are reminded of this all too familiar, the parable of the Good Samaritan. Jesus was actually tested by a teacher on how he will inherit eternal life. And Jesus instructed him, reminded him of what is written in the law. And what is it? You shall love the Lord with all your heart, with all your being, with all your strength, with all your mind, and you will love your neighbor as you love yourself. And in order to justify who is my neighbor, quinentun Jesus ang kwento ng ang mabuting Samaritano. I guess, my dear brothers and sisters, this story of the Good Samaritan is actually the very image that God would like us to paint who He really is. The image of the Samaritan. Ano bang karakteristik ng Samaritano dito sa kwento? A man fell victim and He was stripped, beaten, and went off leaving half dead. He was robbed. But then, three persons passed by, a priest and a Levi. A priest happened to be going down the road, but then when he saw him, parang nilipasan lang niya. No? Same with the Levite. No? When he saw, he passed by by the opposite side. Biblical commentators would say, no, yeah, it is somehow understandable because these priests are people of the temple and ritually speaking, they are not to what? Hold people who are half dead because they are considered what? Madumi. No? And for them to function in the temple, no? hindi, nila, hindi sila lumapit dito sa half-dead na tao na to. However, when a Samaritan traveler came by, he was moved with compassion at the sight. He approached the victim, poured oil and wine over his wounds, and bandaged him. He lifted him up on his own animal, took him to an inn, and cared for him. This is the very image, my dear brothers and sisters, that I think God would like us to portray Him. The God who has compassion, the God who is able to make an extra effort to help another because He saw Himself to another person.
Ito yung magkaiba sa ako ang imahin ko ng Diyos, ibibihis ko sa Diyos. No? Ang konsepto ko ng Diyos, ibibihis ko sa Diyos. In the image of the Santo Nino, for example. But for us, in the Gospel today, we are somehow being corrected by the story of the Samaritan. This is the original image of God. Ang may kapasidad na magkaroon ng awa, habag, malasakit para sa kapwa. And we are challenged, my dear brothers and sisters. Today we are celebrating the Feast of St. Francis of Assisi. And looking back at his story, he had a very, somehow, good image of, also of what God is, of who God is. He came from a family of merchants. No? He could have the image of God as a merchant. No? His father even wanted him to take over already the family business. But no, no? it was not to be so. Hindi siya yung tipong gaya-gaya. Gaya-gaya kung ano ang nakita niya, no? especially within his environment much more proximity-wise sa kanyang mga magulang. No. He had a more purer version of the image of God is. That's why hinubad niya ang kanyang privileges. Tinis-own niya ang kanyang mana. at sumunod sa Diyos sa pamamagitan ng ibang helio. And for today, our gospel speaks of that image, the Good Samaritan. Kung meron man ho tayong sigurong gagayagayahin, no? this guy in the gospel, the Samaritan man, is what we are invited to follow. And so in this Holy Mass, my dear brothers and sisters, no, I guess it is opportune to ask ourselves, no, ano ba ang imahin ng Diyos meron ako? Is it a God who is mayaman, powerful? Is it a God who wants us to follow simple or rather complicated rituals no? like the Levites and this priest was following. No? Or is it a God that wants us to relate to someone who is in dire need? A God who is capable of having compassion and moved by it we are able to do things outside our comfort. So the intercession of St. Francis of Assisi and his way of poverty, may we be invited, my dear brothers and sisters, to form a more authentic image of God. And having this as our example, we imitate it. Sa yung gagayagayahin natin. Pinoy magaling dito, di ba? Gaya-gaya tayo. No? Pero ang paggaya-gaya actually is the best way of learning. And today, we are invited to follow and imitate the example of this good Samaritan. Jesus asked the opinion of this guy who asked him, who was the neighbor to the robber's victim? He answered, the one who treated him with mercy. Jesus simply responded, go and do likewise. 
in the same manner, my dear brothers and sisters, for this Holy Mass, we are invited to go and do likewise. Dahil ito ang ugali mukha ng Diyos na kailangan nating sundin at gayahin. Amen. Please stand. Even today, many lie by the side of the road waiting for liberating words or a helping hand. Let us pray to the Father in heaven that our love may be expressed in concrete action rather than beautiful words. Let us say, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. That the church in her pastors and people may show the love of God through active love of neighbors. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. That those who work for the destitute will never lose heart or be discouraged. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. That we may treat every person we meet with kindness and respect. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That the lonely and the infirm in our society may not be ignored or passed by. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That Christ may bring those who have died to his eternal kingdom. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. God, our Father, as we pray for others, we ask you to help us to love and serve our neighbors and so welcome your beloved Son who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Please be seated. brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. As we bring you these offerings, O Lord, we pray that we may be rightly disposed for the celebration of the mystery of the cross, which St. Francis so ardently embraced through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We we'll lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord, our God. It is right and just. It is solely right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For in the marvelous confession of your saints, you make your church fruitful with strength ever in you and offer us sure signs of your love, and that your saving mysteries may be fulfilled. Their great example lends us courage. Their fervent prayers sustain us in all we do. And so, Lord, with all the angels and saints, we too give you thanks, as in exaltation we acclaim. Holy, 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 holy Lord, Lord, God, God of hosts, hosts, heaven and, and earth are full of your, of your glory. glory. Hosanna, Hosanna in the, in the highest. highest. Blessed, Blessed is he who comes, comes in the name, in of, the name Lord. of the Lord. Hosanna, Hosanna in, the in the highest. Please kneel. 
You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the true fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving you thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of a new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Please stand. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church is spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, Jose, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, Saint Francis, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and form by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the, For the kingdom, kingdom, the, the power, power, and, and the, the glory, glory are, are yours, yours now, now and, and forever. forever. Lord Jesus Christ has said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take, take away, away the, the sins, sins of the world. The world. Have, Have mercy, mercy on us. us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Please kneel. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold Him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I, am I am not, not worthy that you should, should enter under my roof. 
but, but only say the word, and, and my soul shall be healed. Act of Spiritual Communion My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the Most Holy Sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Please stand. Let us pray. Grant us, we pray, O Lord, through these holy gifts which we have received, that imitating the charity and apostolic seal of St. Francis, we may experience the effects of your love and spread them everywhere for the salvation of all, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Mass has been offered. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your lives. Thanks be to God. Panginoon.